Yeah, the secretary was well aware uh, that we have massive flooding all across North Dakota. The Devil's Lake Basin, have not seen anything like this in a thousand years. Uh, Minot, we have the Suris River uh, over its banks. 4,200 homes have been flooded. Bismarck, Mandan, and the whole Missouri watershed uh, seeing record amounts of water. So he is well aware that in every corner of our state we face serious flood threats. And uh, all of this is affecting the transportation system in a very dramatic way. Uh, we talked to the secretary about the urgent need to raise a rail bridge uh, for the Empire Builder. Uh, we talked to him about 123,000 boardings in North Dakota, so obviously this affects passenger rail. It also affects the major industries of North Dakota. The oil industry uh, have told me that this is critically important to their operations because they're receiving much of what they need to drill wells in North Dakota by this rail line. We've also had the agriculture sector tell us this is a critically important rail line. Well, we had a good meeting with the secretary, with our congressional delegation and the governor, and really explained to him the need to raise the railroad line uh, for the Empire Builder uh, right near Devil's Lake, and that it's vitally important for that region of our state. But it's, this is a line that goes from coast to coast. Uh, the challenge, of course, is finding the funding. We've got two-thirds of the dollars from Amtrak and from BNSF but we need that remaining one-third. Uh, it's going to take a partnership to do this, but it's important that we continue to, to press ahead and, and do what we can because you know, there's been such extensive flooding in that region, and this is a vital transportation line. So we're going to continue to work it, and uh, I'm, I'm hopeful we'll get there, but at this point still more work to do.